on July 4th, 1933, a 35-year-old black man named Norris Stendy was at a lakeside resort with family and friends in Clinton, South Carolina, having a 4th of July celebration when a white man approached him, saying that the, that the group had to leave. The altercation later escalated when Dendy ended up hitting the man, and a crowd of white men began pursuing him, and he fled the resort terrified. The white man at Lake Murray alerted officers in the nearby town of Goldville to pursue and arrest Dendy, which they ended up doing, arresting him on the charges of drunkenness and reckless driving. By the evening of July 4th, Dendy remained in the custody of Clinton officials at the local jail, but despite the pursuit of the white mob earlier in the day, his cell remained unguarded and unprotected. Later in that evening, at least four white men arrived at the unguarded jail, where only a single black janitor remained, and seized Dendy from his jail cell. Coincidentally, at the same time, Dendy's wife, his five children, and his mother arrived at the jail to see if he was okay, and witnessed the mob breaking into his jail cell. When they tried to intervene, the lynch mob struck Dendy's mother and fired at, his, at the rest of his family. The mob then tied Dendy's wrists and ankles with rope and kidnapped him, driving him away from the cell. The mob beat Dendy's head so many times that he suffered a fatal fracture at the base of his skull. Still unsatisfied, the mob then, then hung Dendy before dumping his body next to the Sardis jail, a churchyard seven miles from Lawrence County on what is now Highway 72 East. And despite accounts from multiple eyewitnesses who witnessed the mob's action, a year later a grand jury refused to indict the members of the mob. No one was ever held accountable for the lynching of Dendy, nor for the suffering of his family.